Dear Vic, when I first met you, I knew you were trouble. And sure enough, if you're hearing this, it means we're about to get married again. When I first met you, I was struck how brave, adventurous, and independent you were. I remember being amazed at how you could be so full of charm and grace, but still be able to rough it with the toughest. I remember how drawn I was to your ambition and goals, how I felt like you saw the best in me too, and I was particularly fond of how you turned every little thing we did together into an adventure. Dear Dan, good morning my love. I hope you slept well and didn't get too lit last night. Today is the day we've been thinking about for two years. Since the day you proposed, you have been so supportive in helping me achieve the wedding of my dreams. I know you haven't always felt this way, but even though you weren't there for every meeting or every tasting, you were working hard to make sure you got the day off and that all the ceremony paperwork went through. Through your hard work, you showed me just how much you care. One thing you told me throughout the whole planning process was that today is not just about the wedding, it's about the marriage. I didn't really listen then, but as I wrote this, I realized just how right you were. Today is not about the dress, the tux, the cake, or anything like that. It's about you and me. You and me starting out on our big grand adventure of life. No matter how awesome today is, and today will indeed be awesome, nothing compares to spending the rest of my life with you. You, my darling, are my greatest adventure. Even in the last year, I've learned about your ridiculous sense of humor, the endless commitment you have for the people and the work you care about, your willingness to sacrifice for those you love, and your ability to make friends everywhere you go. And also, you make a pretty awesome dog mom. So, I'm honored to have a second wedding with you because it celebrates the beginning of our adventure, but it also reminds us to celebrate the journey as we go. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous. It does not rejoice over wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. So my calculations have shown that four years translates to 1,460 days. But in reality, we've only spent a fraction of that together. Our days apart have been due to a variety of factors. There was us attending colleges in opposite ends of the country, you going to ranger school, that random training in Fort Bliss, that other training in Fort Knox, the countless training days in the field, you train a lot. Next year, you'll be deploying for nine months, which is 270 days. I'm not worried, though. Because if distance has taught me anything, it's that even when we aren't physically together, we never grow apart. You've given me one adventure after another, and that's something that I'm eternally grateful for. So in return, here, in front of our friends, our family, and the Almighty, I give you me. I vow to always love you and to care about the things that you care about, to be your adventure buddy, and to always be there to explore new things together. I give you my yesterdays, my todays, and my tomorrows, I promise to be your loyal travel companion as we journey together through the mountains and valleys of life. I vow to always show you affection and to never shut you out, even when I'm tired or upset, which means I will be a stable source of back scratches and pats for the rest of your life. But above all, I promise to show you, Daniel Schmidt, each and every day that you are my person, my true north, my best friend, and my greatest love. I promise to cherish this life that we'll have together and always tell you how much I love you and how excited I am to be yours. <laughs> I love you, my darling, for without you I'd be lost. From now until death, my heart is yours and I couldn't be happier. I love you. Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Victoria Smith.
Victoria had found the right guy the first time I met Dan. He was quiet and reserved at first, but his humor and sweet nature were evident quickly. This is a man, Victoria, who will truly love and honor you before all else. I could just see in her eyes, I could see the way he treated her. And you know what, to me, family, you know, you're gonna go through hell in a hat basket for the, for the family. And that's what Dan shows me every day. So I wanna thank you both for bringing up just a wonderful son who is terrific. No greater wisdom has Daniel shown than this we see today. To be a partner to a soul as generous as he is gentle. To commit to a lifetime of loving a woman he suspected he might love from the moment he first saw her. I have no doubt that today is a beautiful testament of the life that you'll lead the course of many years and many years after that. And I can't wait to watch how you flourish and support the two of you every step of the way. I love you guys, I'm so excited for you and proud of you. Here's to the bride and groom.